So let's pivot now to the stack. This was a cool find. This guy <laughs> took the time to write a, web a website all about the AHA stack, which he calls, where, huh, here's the homepage, Astro HTMX and Alpine JS, AHA. We have a very similar stack, but instead of Astro, we're using pocket pages. So it's a P or P H, what could we call it? Yeah, we could call it the HAP stack, H HTMX, Alpine JS, and pocket base slash pocket pages slash pocket host pocket star. There was a fun bit of conversation on Discord today. This guy right here, A Daddy, he said, here's what I've been using since we're talking about Astro. Aha stack, Astro HTMX and Alpine, right. I've been very interested in switching to Alpine. It seems super simple, mainly interested in trying frameworks to set up their thing. Okay, right. So people are interested in slim front ends and no build chains for front ends. They wanna go back to something that feels more like the server-side pages days. I said, I'm using Alpine right now. A ha stack looks a lot like what I'm trying to do with pocket pages. Yeah, so it's interesting, right? I mean, your choice is use something like Astro and now you have to host two different servers. You have to have a Node.js backend and a pocket-based backend, or use something like pocket pages with the trade-off that the JSVM is basically incompatible with most Node modules and probably a lot of browser packages too. All right, what do you guys say we get into some Kingdom coding? So a thought I had recently was that when Kingdom is running, 